his parents said, hey, do you want to start a company? And his entrepreneurial dad, who had 15 companies under his belt, this is what we've got. We've got a contract ready that we could accept to lay individual telephone lines to homes. Do you want to come down and do that? We'll start a company. And so my husband and I built the company and we absolutely loved what we were doing and loved being in business and building a business together. At the 20 year marker is when we agreed that we're going to become the specialized trenchless technology contractor. You don't get a second chance in trenchless. It's just, it just doesn't happen. You only get one shot. For the trenchless, we needed to add a complimentary service offering that would be at the front end. It makes such common sense that you should not plan to install hundreds and hundreds of feet of new utility until you first know what's in there. We know there's still going to be unknowns, but we want to be in a position where we can say, okay, we thought about that one, or we thought about that one, or at least we're prepared for this one. You know, you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on iron and we are 100% dependent on that thing working every day. I mean, it'll get down to 20 sometimes, and then it goes all the way up to 121 degrees. And so this equipment gets stressed. Let's just stick with one thing. If we know what works and it's proven, let's just stay with it and keep going that way. We have 40 employees and families here that depend on this company, and we want them to have a good future. After a diligent 10 years of really working on the succession plan for our company with this current executive team that we have, I know they're ready. The three of them work together above excellent. And they see that they have a bright future. We really try to focus on the whole person and not just it kind of being a checklist approach, but really a holistic approach. So these are the values. So smart is one of the values, mutual respect safe and attitude. So I think Sal probably has the highest number of <laughs> different ones of everybody that we have. An area that I've done a lot of work with over the last six years is in mental health and suicide prevention and construction and understanding that somebody can only be as safe as they're kind of mentally and emotionally equipped to be. You know, realizing that, you know, five times as many workers are dying by suicide every year as by safety-related workplace fatalities. That was just too big of a pool of people who could be helped sitting out there to not do something about it. I run the shop, I take care of the equipment, and I also go out and oversee all the jobs in the field. I work with the guys in the field. I make sure that uh, they have the supplies that they need to get the projects done. When need be, as you can just tell, I uh, go out and operate equipment and uh, dig and shore the bore pits. I've never bought into the, you're either growing or you're dying. Uh, our foundation is faith. And it doesn't ally with worldly values. And so right there, you've got foundation of just a different belief system. And therefore, it's really important in our market to be very strategic about what we go after. And I just would love to see our community return to an understanding that we need equipment operators, we need plumbers, we need electricians, we need carpenters. It's a great paying job, it's a great career. 